Why did they commit to this with that injury history? I mean, it's such a unique player and a unique circumstance. As you said, only 31 games in three seasons, but he is up for his rookie extension. If he didn't agree to a deal now, he becomes a restricted free agent next summer, and another team could have come in and given him a contract that could have been shorter in years and made him an unrestricted free agent where Philly could have lost him. This deal uh, keeps him in Philly for five years, and the deal has some protections that if something goes wrong physically with Embiid, uh, the Sixers can get out from under the contract. So let's touch, let's touch on that. And if he catastrophic injury, something major does happen to Joel Embiid, what, what, what's the issues that they or how can they have some wiggle room with that contract? Uh, the way it was described to me today, and this is as unique of a contract as, as the league has seen uh, maybe ever, if Embiid were to suffer a major injury, a catastrophic injury, couldn't go on, the Sixers would have to waive him. They'd have to release him for MB to not get that full $148 million. So uh, even if he was hurt, missed games like a normal player is going to miss, there's no games played in the contract. That's not allowed in the NBA. That Philadelphia gets protection if the, if the foot, if the knee, if any of that gives out and he can't play anymore. Um, but even then, Embiid will still get roughly half this contract, and that's a worst-case scenario. This, this is a unique talent. He's a franchise player.